Hey guys, so this is my first video to actually talking about animals, and the animal I will be talking about is a mudskipper. Now I absolutely love mudskippers. They are my favorite amphibious animal, fish, amphibious fish, I don't know, but like, they're amphibious, <laughs> in case you didn't know. <clears throat> and what amphibious means is that they're an animal who breathes air and lives on land but needs water to survive. Um, frogs, salamanders, mudskippers, they're um, amphibious. Um, are snakes? No, snakes are reptiles. Duh. Um, but yeah, a frog starts out as a tadpole. They are born in the water and they are raised in the water and then they live on, they grow feet, they grow lungs, and then they live on land. So, but they still need water to survive, which is why I find them in my pool, like, all the time. So they are amphibious, and mudskippers are kind of the same thing. Um, to be honest, I'm not really sure how they're born. <sighs> um, but yeah. Uh, I, if you see me looking down, I have a notebook <clears throat> with facts from Wikipedia. I will also link the Wikipedia page to every animal I review. Review. Wow. Um, talk about in the bottom review. Yeah, I'm reviewing an animal. Um, so yeah, I just have six small little things about them, and let's get started. Um, they're related to guppy, guppy, gobies, um, gobies is another type of fish. <laughs> um, as for their location, um, they live in tropic, subtropic, um, temperate regions, I can't read my own handwriting, including the Indo-Pacific and the Atlantic coast of Africa. Which is funny because um, I live in Florida and Florida is a tropic, but I don't think we have native mudskippers. Um, but my pet store, five minutes from my house, has mudskippers, which amuses me. Um, they, How they breathe, um, in case you're wondering, which I'm sure you are, they breathe through the skin and lining of mouth and throat, must stay wet, moist, and the way it's, like, what their breathing is called is known as, I read this perfectly off the computer, cutaneous breathing. Um, I don't know if that's just pertaining to mudskippers or if it's to, like, all amphibious creatures. I'm guessing it's not because, um, mudskippers have a certain way they breathe. They have enlarged gill chambers which retain an air bubble and that's how they breathe. And the den that they make, well, not den, um... They dig deep burrows in soft sand as shelter and to lay eggs, and their, I'm just gonna call it a den, okay? Their den um, holds an air pocket at the top, which even with, you know, if it's covered in water, they can still continually breathe. And mangrove mudskippers actually live in the mangroves and can climb the trees. Mudskippers can actually jump. Um, the website I was on didn't say how high they can jump, but they can jump pretty high. So they like move their back fins um, fast or something in, in the mud and then they just go jumping. So yes, mudskippers are my favorite um, amphibious creature. Um, I'll link a picture as well as the Wikipedia page at the bottom in case you want to learn more about them. Um, they're really interesting creatures. So yes, um, this wasn't very good. Kind of, I don't know how to do this kind of video. But I hope you enjoyed it. Next, I will be talking about the platypus, which is, oh my god, it blew my mind. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!